What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Legacy video we took on Duke and as you can imagine we played pretty badly. They beat us by 25 points. Nothing went right as I should have expected. Especially on defense we're just really struggling there and I've just went ahead and decided just not to get upset anymore. It's just not worth it. It's just easier for me to just figure out how to adjust things whether that may be sliders or just be patient and wait to bring in better talent and we can do our thing beyond that so i'm hoping that going forward i'm just going to try to enjoy this game as best i can and just adjust to it rather than it forcing to adjust to me so what we're going to do today is we're going to take on james madison they're out of the colonial there are 73 overall team we're at a 68 so we have a chance to beat this team now let's check out what we're dealing with from them let's go around the ncaa let's go to teams we'll go to rosters and we'll go to the colonial conference and we will check them out and here is james madison they got a really good point guard can he do anything he can shoot the three pretty well he's got upper 70s in a lot of areas so he looks to be their main stud but then it's a bit of a drop off after that for them now they still got you know more talent than we do, but a small four, power four, we can check to see if they got good three-point shooters. And they got some decent ones, you know, they got a handful of guys in the 70s. And their best big guy is this guy, apparently a power forward, Julian Wooden. They don't look very big. Like their tallest guy is 6'7", unless I, this kid is 6'8". So we may actually have a somewhat of a size advantage when we throw Bennett in there in our second string. But at least I have a rough idea of what they like to do. Now, one thing I can do is go to coaches and then go over to the Colonial. And I can check out their coach and see what he likes to do. Uh, a box offense, man-to-man, uh, -man, more often than not. They may do a little half-court trap. They like to speed it up a little bit, uh, fast break. So they're more of an up-tempo team. So what I would like to do is go back and I want to show you a couple of changes that I've made. We'll see if it works out for this game and if I'm happy, if I'm not happy with it, we can try something else. But I really want to, to figure out what I want to be. So we're going to go back to the Ohio Valley. We're going to go back to us, Eastern Kentucky. And I'm going to go back to playing man defense. This is the only defense that I could think of right now that does just a little bit better job of not leaving so many guys wide open so i'm going to stick with that for the rest of the year i would love to go into doing some zones i used to be kind of successful running three two and one three one back in the day but that's probably when i had some talent to work with guys who were really long and lean who can reach out and get those steals and such and we're not very big so for now i think the rest of the year i'm just going to stick with man to man until the upcoming seasons where i feel like maybe i can adjust to that I have decided to do pure slow ball. Now, I can do one or the other. I've had a couple of good comments and tips from people saying it's best at the very beginning to do one extreme or the other. Either be super slow, control the tempo, or be just all out helter skelter. Now, my NCAA 06 uh, strategy when I'm a really bad team taking on a good team, I slow the game down as possibly or as much as I can just to keep the ball out of their uh, offense's hands. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully I don't get bored with it. That's the only thing that worries me a little bit. It's just me kind of sitting on the clock a lot of the time. But apparently I'm not bored when I do it in 06, so I shouldn't be bored when I do it here. So I got the offensive tempo down to 20. I got the pressure of the tight. Again, I'm just a big stickler for not trying to give up too many wide open shots. I'm hopefully this will help some. I got the defensive rebound to 20. I really want us to, if we can, just try to get the rebound, secure that. And then when it comes to transition defense, I don't want to give up easy buckets on trans when we're on going on transition defense. I got that down to 20. I'm going to try to do this for a couple games, and if for whatever reason I'm just not really feeling it, then I'm going to go the exact opposite and do something that I'm a little more comfortable with, which is the all-out me getting a, you know, getting a shot off within like five seconds of the shot clock. We'll see how all that goes. I also changed a couple things. We go to options and game sliders. As you all know, in the last game, Duke put up like 60-something percent from three. They made a ton of them. They're Duke. They should be good shooters. Don't get me wrong. 
But at halftime, they were shooting like over 70% on three. That's just a kind of a little bit high. So what I have done for the CPU shooting, I got their three point down to 40. I'm curious to see how some of these other bad teams will uh, be affected by this. I left the user at 50. I think mine's fairly normal. I mean, we're breaking a ton of threes. We're making some as well. So I feel like it's kind of where, where it needs to be. But we'll see how this affects the rest of our opponents going forward. I also, I need to turn that to 40. What I also need to show you is if you go to coach settings and you go to coach office and you go to development, I finally went ahead and updated my training. A good example is we go to Beverly. This is our point guard that we pretty much turn into a shooting guard because he could shoot the three so well. So you go right here and I went ahead. I'm not going to show you every player's um, development, what I've done. I'm so focus on like this kid to be nothing but a good three-point shooter i have him focusing on nothing but shooting the ball well and i got other things for example we can back out and go to our best big guy which is williams i have him set up as you can tell offensive defensive rebounding down low just all the things that he really needs to focus on i didn't touch conditioning i'll tell you a little bit about conditioning i like all of these attributes quickness and speed strength and vertical durability, stamina, it just, if I go all helter-skelter, I may turn everybody's into that right there, but I don't know, but right now, I kind of like all those attributes, I want all of them to get better over time, so I kind of left those alone for the rest of them, but in general, if I have a guard that is one of my shooters on the outside, I pretty much want them to focus on shooting, if I have big guys down low, which I only have two this year, I want them to focus on just strictly the down low stuff, so hopefully that'll help a little bit in the training. Now let's talk about recruiting. Let's go to the schedule. You notice what's coming up. This is our week. We got James Madison today. And we have the beginning of the early signing period. So this is a big deal for us. We have a chance at a couple of guys signing with us early. That way we can get them out of the way and we can focus our points elsewhere. So let's talk about recruiting. Let's go over to recruiting and to recruits. Let's look at our targets. Now, you see at the very top, we got three two-star kids, two centers and a power four. Let's look at all three. We are in great shape for Allie Duncan. Nobody is competing with us for this kid, and I'm not going to focus on, on him too much today unless we got leftover points. You look at the next guy. This is important. You go back and look. He is at 100% for us, but he's also at 100% for IUPUI. So we really need to put as much points in this kid as possible because he's going to sign with somebody at the end of the week. So let's go ahead, and looks like the only thing we can do today is scout a game of his. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to phone the recruit, and we're going to email him. Anybody can email him, but you don't have to be special to send in an email. So we'll have our other assistant coach do that. So that's the most we could do with this kid. Now all we can do is hope that we go up. The problem is we didn't go up over IUPY. So it looks like we're probably not going to get him. Unless, once we scout the game, maybe we'll go above it. I don't know. It's just going to be really hard. But we'll see what happens. If it doesn't work out, we'll just move on. Next up is this kid right here, Slade Edwin, the local kid. It's us, and uh, I think, I'm pretty sure that's South Carolina Upstate. Very good shape here. We're at 92%. It's possible that he will, he will not sign early this week. I kind of hope he does. I wish he could make up his mind so I can focus my efforts elsewhere. But we need to put as many points as we can to this kid. So we're going to visit him. That's the best thing we could do at this point. We'll have our head coach visit. And we're going to phone the recruit. And we're going to email the recruit. So that's the most we could do with him. Hopefully that'll just be enough to keep us going. But it looks like we're going to be in this one for the long haul. And that is it for the big three. Now, I can go ahead and put some points on this kid. But I'm going to wait just for now because we got other fish to fry. Now, you notice at the very top, I have five scholarships to offer. I've already offered all five, but I do not have to sign five guys if I don't want to. I can do three, four, as long as we get the guys that we really want. So you notice what else we have. we got a bunch of four-star kids. The, I'm, I'm hoping I can snag one of these kids. So let's start off at the very top. Amy and Benson. We still have a decent shot here. We're in fourth place. Now, we're still far away from BYU and UTEP. But neither team is offering that kid. And if you look, uh, we need more contact information to figure out what he is into. 
So let's just hold off a little bit. Let's keep going. Okay, this kid right here, Mario Avery, I feel like it's going to be tough to overcome that since there's another school already offered him, and I just don't think we're going to have a chance there. We're I mean, as you can tell, we're just way off from uh, them in St. Joe's. So I'm going to go ahead and take him off our list. We're going to simplify that. Let's go to Swanson. Here we have a scholarship on him. As you can tell, we're not too far from Loyola Marymount, Oregon, Washington State, San Diego State. We don't know a whole... Feeling one, it is his biggest thing. So I think, and he's a guard, a point guard, that we may turn into a shooting guard because you look here, he's got B plus on a three-point. That's really good for a point guard. He's got some good stats going for him. And of course, he's a four-star, so that shouldn't shock us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to visit him. I think it's worth putting some serious points into this kid. So let's go ahead. We'll visit him with our head coach. We're going to phone the recruit, and we're going to email him. Next up, we got this kid right here, Eunice Juliana. I, I'm not even going to pronounce the last name. Another kid out of California, shooting guard. We don't know a whole lot what he is into. We probably need to scout a game of his, and but we got a chance. It's literally just us in Utah, which is surprising. So I would like to at least scout a game of his. The problem is we are out of points. So before we use up our last six points, we need to decide where else we want to put those points. So let's keep going. We got this kid, uh, Ricci, um, out of California. We got a somewhat decent chance here, but we're not even on his list. If you could, As you can see here, it's a Juco kid. We're not even at number four. And I think we're doing okay at point guard for now. So I don't know if I should bother with him. Let's keep going for a minute. Let's go to Sunny Winter. Look at this kid. Nobody's going after him. Now, he's another Juco. He's a point guard. I like the name. Uh... I could keep him on the list, and we can kind of go from there, but uh, let's look at this kid right here. We have a scholarship on this kid out of Montenegro. He's a world recruit, three-star kid, another point guard. We just don't know anything about him, so I want to phone him. We can just do that. That's fine. And we can email the rest of these kids because we're out of points. So all we got left is... We got to play well this week. I'm sure that's going to help with recruiting. He is out of points altogether. Just make sure we got everything else. So we have used up all of our points and options and everything. So hope for the best on this kid right here. I don't think we're going to end up getting him. I, I guess we just didn't do enough. I, I don't know. The good thing is we got a really good chance with this kid. He's a much bigger center. I don't know if he's got the better you know, skill set. We can't really tell. We don't have a whole lot showing here. This kid looks like he's a little bit better. He's 537th in the country. This kid is not even ranked, so that's probably a bad sign. But I need, I just need big guys down low. I can kind of get away with having a humongous guy down low, even though I would love to have this kid right here. But we'll see what happens. And then last but not least, we got this power forward that I would love for him to go ahead and make up his mind at the end of this week in the early signing period. But we'll see what happens. Okay, that is it for recruiting. I'm going to go ahead and save this really quickly. And let's go ahead and get into the game. We're going to go to James Madison. We're going to simulate up to that day. Now, I wonder, now, we just went through, if you just noticed, we already went and flown. Our head coach flew to a couple players. So I wonder if you go back to recruiting. I've never really noticed this, but you go back to recruits. I wonder if that affected anything. So you go back here. That didn't change. Maybe he wasn't one of the... Maybe that's the the flight, the game after, or the day after this game. See, this helped a little bit. We moved up even closer for Slate Edwin. So that must have been one of the trips that we took before this game. So I'm hoping, when you go back to the schedule, I'm hoping that, that flight right there is for that other center that we, we know that he is going to commit to somebody here, here at the end of the week. Either way, we will worry about that after a couple of games. So let's get into the James Madison game. We'll go to play game. And we'll get into it. Now, I have adjusted the volume a little bit. I think I have this fixed. This is our first home game. Now, I'm going to do something. I I've changed my mind on this. I, I went ahead and changed my mind on the camera. I've had a couple people ask me, why do I play on broadcast? 
I've always enjoyed it on broadcast, but maybe I need to get used to playing on 2K mode. Whenever I played the NBA 2K games, especially when I played my player, I guess I got used to playing on the 2K camera, something like this. Now, I can leave it as such. I don't know. Auto flip on, fix height on. I'm okay with some of this. I may adjust this. Something like this. We'll leave it at that. That's fine. So we're going to do it on 2K today. Okay. Let's see if I can get used to this again. It's been a while since I have uh, played on the 2K camera. But at least you got a different view of like the the sideline or not the, the baseline and such. I can go ahead and try this. That's a miss. That's a good rebound. Ah. Let's get back. It's the easy transition there. Let's slow it down a little bit. So at least you can see. Uh, yeah, I kind of like this. I, maybe I can get used to this. So they're going 1-3-1. One, one. I'm going to go to a different play. Just get everybody in their normal spot. We're going to do something like this. Everybody gets in their... Right here. That's just a good block. We're going man. Going to go with a shot. Good rebound. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Looks like we're going back to man. Uh, let's go back over here. I went to the wrong guy, but that's okay. Ah, terrible pass. I think I'll play the center for now. On defense, see if that helps anything. They're running their plays. I think I think the well, most of the plays in this game are just aren't that great. No, nope, we can't go to the hoop. Uh, let's go over here. Can we get it in there? That was a good shot. He had him open, so we took advantage of that. In time, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind getting used to learning some of the plays, but I just remember back in the day, a lot of them just didn't work all that well. They just, they're so slow, take forever to develop. Maybe I just need to find quicker plays. Good little play by Moreno. I know I need to be slowing it down a little bit, but if they're going to give me open looks like that, then i got to take advantage of it. Let's go here. Good rebound. Have him come back, and let's set this thing up. Go over here. Left him wide open. we got to take it. Maybe shorted it. That's a good rebound. And I have my transition defense to the opposite end. Let's go here. All right, get it, get it, get it. Just another short arm shot. It's got to get used to the sensitivity of a lot of these players' shots. Watch for the pick up top of the key. Good rebound there. So their transition defense is pretty solid. Now he left him wide open. Ooh, let's go ahead. Ah, right, there we go. At least we get to the line. We can see how everybody's feeling. Everybody's doing okay on the energy for now. But here in a couple minutes, we'll... We'll put some people in. So at least you know the in, the uh, baseline is going to look a whole lot different for a lot of these arenas. Get in there. I missed it. There we go. So I don't know how many rebounds Williams has already. He's up to like six. We'll go back. Play a little defense. That's a good play there. I jumped too early. We'll see a rinse to replay. Don't want to see that. We'll back out. Let's see. Left him open. Had a boy. So I think it was a good idea to put our point guard and shooting guard, put him on the wing. 
he's such a good three-point shooter. Just made sense. And the stack offense isn't really built for the point guard to shoot a ton of threes. Unless I've just missed something. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and put in our backups. I'm okay with that. I still like doing the fresh five. It's just easier for me. Good rebound there. Looks like I'm going to take it up myself. Get him over here. Looks like they're going... Let's do a pick and roll. Ah, that didn't go well. Get, get, get around, get around. There we go. I about messed that up. So we're off to a pretty good start. We're up six. I feel like I'm doing an okay job down low. Defensively, at least. I, I'm halfway decent at getting rebounds. I can time those fairly well. He can have that shot all day. Ooh, that was a bad mistake. Can we get it in there? That's a good play. Let's get back. I'm going to try to get down low. It's wide open. Ah, missed that one badly. Let's bring this back. So, yeah, James Madison's transition defense is pretty solid. I got a shooting guard right there. Leaving him open. There we go. So, I guess I shouldn't complain about leaving people wide open if the other team is going to do the same thing. I didn't think about it like that, and I should have. Get down low here. That's a good shot. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's see what we got here. They're going back to the 1-3-1. One, one. Let's bring him out to here. I probably should have passed that off to somebody. That was a mistake of mine. That's okay. Going back out side of the three. A little pick. Back to a big shot right there. Air ball, so the shot clock should be going down pretty low. It's down to what, six seconds? Good rebound by me, by Bennett. Gonna set up a play. They're going back to man. I wonder if we can do it. No, they're going 1 3 1. Let's bring him up. I know that point guard can shoot it a little bit. Can he make that jumper? That's a good shot. I'm going to try to take my time. I'm not going to get down the field too quickly. Or down the field, down the court. I'm going to mix a lot of football and basketball stuff up. That's a good rebound there. So we're off to a really good start. That's good. Back to the 131 they go. Nope. I'm gonna do that. Quick isolation. Let's go back here. Am I gonna get open? Can we go back to him? Nope. That's just a good transition play there. And I gotta set down the 20, you notice right here. We go to code settings. I got it down to crash boards at 20. Which means we want everybody essentially to come back, but we're still getting beat on those. Back to the 1-3-1 one, one they go. Let's do a pick and roll. I'm just trying to get somebody going there. This is a big three. Long three. Probably too long of a three. We're going back out. It's a good rebound by... It's so funny they're doing the exact opposite things I want them to do. They're going down low. <laughs> That's a two. Get back. Everybody get back. I need to see how my starters are doing. I need to bring them back in, probably. Ah. I missed time that one big time. And I found him. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. 
and he made that shot so he's got one free throw ow, ow. that's a good block nope back out back out back out we're going to man let's see if we can just back in that boy Williams we need to get him going a little bit so it looks like I'm not I guess I'll just feel more comfortable when I just if I see somebody open we're gonna take the shot we're not gonna just run clock as much as possible but as long as I get a good shot so we're up five now they're back to the one three one leaving him open get in there so I, I mean do the I'm starting to wonder those coach settings those sliders really affect much I guess I'm the one who has complete control over how fast and slow we go but somebody make a good play defensive foul, that's defensive foul on that's Beverly that's his first there's some bad angles there the guard is wearing the long sleeves the shirt So far, they're doing a pretty decent job on their free throws. Oh, no, let's just back out. Oh, I should have took that shot. Go back over here. Get him over there. There we go. boy Moreno. Moreno. Guess that's how you say it. Everybody play good defense. Looks like we're going to just isolate on this drive. Or drive. <laughs> on this possession. Good rebound there. Let's go over here. Let's see. Can we push it? There we go. Good deal. So we're up 10. We got our first double digit lead of the day. It's good that my substitutions are working. They were messing me up a, for a couple of games. Looks like my guy's posting me up. Oop. That's a good play. Yeah, he he beat me bad on that one. So we got that eight-point lead. Let's break out. Let's do a pick and roll. Leaving him open. Get in there. And at least we're going to the line. Let's see if we can get a couple of free throws down. That's a good shot there. How is everybody? Everybody's doing good on the energy. We'll get back on D. It's like I got the man at the top of the key. Uh, good transition defense. Again, they're doing a good job of that. Go back. Hey, he's feeling it. Let's keep going to him. He's got 10. Biggest thing is I want to be really good in the half court. Offensively, defensively. I'm going to sag off my man here if I can. I don't think he'll be shooting a J anytime soon. Taking their sweet time. Want to make a shot there. Morse. So we're up nine. We got a couple minutes to go. They're going, I, yes, they're going man. There we go. Nope, back out. Go here. Let's do a pick and roll. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see if we can do something here. That's a good shot by Williams. We took up quite a bit of time on that possession. 
I probably need to put in my second string for too long. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to call a timeout and we're going to let our backups handle the rest of the half. We got a minute 44 to go, so hopefully they don't mess up things too badly. I thought they did okay in their first go around. Let's go over here. There we go. Easy layup. If they're going man, hey, go for the pump fake if you can. So our man defense, I think it's doing perfectly fine. I'm okay with it. I think it's probably what I'll stick with. Just not as many open shots. Now that's going to be an open shot there. So that guy's, uh, he's hitting a bunch of threes. We're up 10. We're in a good spot. They're going man. Oh, he went for fake. I could have went to the hole on that one. Let's go to our power forward, who's a shooting guard. Uh, let's go over to Bennett. Get in there. Good shot. So we're shooting threes pretty well, along with them. Go back to man. I need a box out to save my life on that one. That was terrible on my part. All right, last second, or last shot. What we're going to do here is we're going to put our starters back in. Get them ready for the second half. We're going man. I can probably do a quick isolation play. Let's see. Maybe I can do a cut maybe to the left. Nope, everybody just get out of the way. And nobody. Let's do a pick and roll instead. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I timed that one way badly. Okay, so we're up 11. That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Can't complain. I do find it funny that our defensive, or, or was the fast, no, it's the crash boards. Well, no, all that seems okay. We're going to leave it all as this, so let's get back into it. One thing I wouldn't mind seeing is the game stats. Let's look at the teams. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh... We're shooting pretty well at the moment. We're four for nine from three. If that if we get close to 50% from three throughout the season, then I need to lower the three-point percentage for the user. They're three for seven. That's way normal. I'm fine with that. 429. Both teams are shooting pretty well from the three. Free throws. I'm just looking for anything that looks way off kilter. Looks like we're out rebounding them. That's good. Points in the paint. Bench. Look at our bench points. That's that's good. I'm glad to see that. Second chance points. Fast break. We're not going to have hardly any fast break points if I stick with our current setup. I feel like we're more efficient with what we're doing now. Focusing on the half court and that type of thing. Let's get back into it. Is my Who am I supposed to do? Okay, this guy right here. I was fixing to say, surely they're not going to force me to defend the point. We're going to maybe go to him right here and push me off. That's an interesting little play there. Ooh, let's push it. Ooh. There we go. Oh, good block. I think he had a wide open lane there. That's one thing I'm going to have to get used to is just depth per perception when you're playing on this camera. I probably should have went for a block on that one. Well, it looks like they're in a hurry-up mode. Let's back out. Let's go back out here, get him out at this angle. Looks like Moreno's open over here. Missed it. Nah, just nothing you can do about that. So now, all of a sudden, they're now just down six. Oh, he felt and that was terrible. That's all my fault. Just my bad in general. So they are off to an amazing start. We got to figure out something here. Looks like they're back to man. 
Let's isolate. Oh, we'll back out. Let's go here. We can go back to Moreno. Just another miss. Who's on who? I guess I have this guy. Good rebound there. Looks like he's got a double-double on the day. What's they're going, man? What we're going to do is we're going to do a pick and roll. Ah, he didn't roll. I want you to roll. Ah, again, that's just my fault. Went to the wrong guy. Wow, power dunk. And just like that, we're only up two. Just complete meltdown this half. Man, another miss. I'm going to have to slow it down. I thought I had an open lane there, but another miss. Slow it down. Somebody needs to make a shot or two. Let's do a pick and roll here. Ah, man, another miss. Just all of a sudden, we just can't make anything. That was a good pick and roll look, too. I had, well, let's call a timeout. I don't know, just, to, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, they're just making their shots and we're not. Now it's tied, so they're with that lead. Go back here. Nope, wrong one over here. There we go. At least we got something going. He bit on the pump fake. I don't want to look at that. I may need to take the action for this to replay off altogether. Looks like they're going to ISO with this kid. He ain't passing it to anybody. There we go. Another good rebound. So, yeah, as you can tell, I'm a, I'm pretty decent at playing center, at least on defense. I can get rebounds and such. Now let's do pick and roll and that. We may be a little too congested for this. That's a... Jam their ball, just a bad pass. We still have the lead, so that's a positive, but hate to see us just blow a big lead like we did. Another rebound by Williams. Are gonna give us any room? Oh, I don't see a whole lot of moving and shaking there. Can he get that in there? Nah. That was a mistake on my part. I should never let that guy shoot the ball. Just a bad possession. Get it. There we go. Let's slow it down. So, I need to look and see. Everybody's feeling kind of iffy. Let's do our... Let's put our bench in. Let's isolate. Everybody get at it. Everybody get in their spots. I just that's what do you do? So let's get back out on defense. Stay in front of this guy if we can. We'll call a timeout. We'll get our backups in here in a little bit. Ah, just good rebound. Yeah, our, our starters need to get out. They're not playing well, and they're not feeling good at the moment. Here's a shot. Ah, dang it, Al. And I am one. I'll be. <laughs> well, they're fixing to get the lead. Just that was a rough six minutes right there. Let's see if our backups can help us out. I don't, they may miss one free throw today. All right, they're going back to, I guess they're going man. 
we can get an easy layup there. If they're going man, I'm going ISO, pick and roll, and pump fake. Going zone, and we'll just find our shots where we can. Miss it. There we go. Let's slow it down a little bit. They're going back to man. I wonder if I can go with this point here. There we go. Good little fake. I wanted you to go to the lane, not shoot it. I don't know what happened there. I guess I didn't go down to the hole close enough. Wide open. Yep. Good rebound by Bennett, though. So let's see what they're doing here. They're going back to man. Uh, let's go over here. Good shot by Rob. Let's get back into the paint. So far, our backups are doing a great job of keeping us in this thing. Movie's wide open. Ah, he got his own rebound. That's a good re That's a good foul, though. That's his second. We're good there. We can look at everybody's energy is good. I'm gonna keep my backups in there if they're gonna keep playing this well. They look super slow going back down the court. The opposing team is. Get in there. Good deal. Good shot. Back to man we go. He's posting up on me. Is he going to try to make a move? Are they going to go to him? Big shot right here. Ow, ow, ow. That's just all, kind of, that's just all my fault. I'm... I didn't box out or anything. All right, let's get back on offense. Let's see. We're going back to man, too. We'll go. Let's do another isolation. Oh, I, I had that one, I think. That's kind of far back, but he's going to make it. That's good. So we got a six-point lead. Let's see if I can do a better job down low. Now, I know Bennett isn't the best big guy in the world. He feels pretty agile, though. I can kind of move him around okay, but... Ooh, good shot. Or good... Ah, dang it. I want him to go down the court with it. That's okay. All right, we're in good position. Let's go here. Let's back out. I got... We got a mismatch somewhere. Let's go to Bennett. There we go. Get in there. Short-armed it. He was wide open. I had to take it. Who am I supposed to defend? Big white guy again? Ah, right, good play. Ooh, missed it. We'll take it. So we're going to get down the court here. We're going to look and see. Let's, let's put our starters back in. I think they're ready to come in and try to do something. More ISO. Uh, let's, let's do ISO here. There we go. Ah, no. <laughs> go to the hole next time. Let's try this again. Nope, ain't going in. Ooh. Pump fake. M1, M1. <laughs> we'll go to the line. Get in there. Ah, just a miss. I may have hung on to that one too long. Let's see if we can get this one in. There we go. So we got our starters back in with five minutes to go. So I need to be careful in how I spend my minutes. I wonder, does it show how many timeouts I have from here? Is it from here is where we can see that? I don't know where to look that up. Somebody can probably tell me where that is at. I don't know how many timeouts we got. I think we got two timeouts. Maybe three. I remember using at least two. All right, who am I defending? This big guy right here. A 
good shot. Just isolated down on the block. So we're up five. We got a starter's in. This is our chance to really put it on him. Go back here. And let's back out. Let's back out. Let's call a play. Let's get people in certain positions here. I just missed it. Go back and play some defense. Ah, just an easy shot there somehow. That's our biggest weakness is our is our four spot. It's like they're going back to man. Well, we can do a pick and roll. Is he going to get in the way though? What worries me is, eh, get in, get in there. Bad shot. Uh, I'm I'm struggling to get to the hole. It's like they want to stop and shoot a a layup or something, but. So again, our transition defense is struggling with that. I don't know why that is, and I thought we fixed that, but apparently we didn't. At least we're going to go to the free throw line. Good shot there by Beverly. And I think what I'm going to do, with about a couple minutes to go, I missed that one badly. Oh, good rebound by Williams. Let's back this out. Two. Uh, it goes in. That's all that matters. <laughs> would have been nice to have a three. That would be, but that's okay. Got a cheerleader walking on the court there. So we're up four. I think I may put Bennett at the five and put Williams at the four here in a couple minutes. I wouldn't mind having Bennett. Oh, good look fake. Ah, right, just good play. Ooh, they're celebrating. Get down the court. You're back up. So what I can do, I'm gonna come out of here. Looks like everybody's a hundred percent. That was really quick, but maybe I didn't have him on the court all that long. I don't remember, but we're going to put in our two big, best big guys we got, and we're going to do something like that. And he'll come in on the next dead ball. Let's go, Williams. Make a play. Ah, just another miss. Played so well in the first half, not so much in the second. About around the two-minute mark, I may call a timeout. We'll get Bennett in there. I'm hoping that exercise is going to help us. Everybody make good plays, good decisions. Ah, foul on Blanton, which that's he's done for the day. Ah, another make. Things are getting tight. Hopefully, we can finish strong. Good rebound by Moreno. Looks like I'm going to bring this up myself. We'll bring it to our point guard. Well, they're going back to man. Oh, no. Wrong guy. Let's go over here. Two minutes remaining. He's not feeling it. Let's go back. Go here. Let's call one of our plays. Mixed him up. Went to the wrong guy. This is a two. I wanted him to go for a three. I don't know why he didn't go out to the three-point line. Oh, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong spot. We got very fortunate there. I goofed up. I was controlling somebody I wasn't supposed to. Up a point. Whew. Okay. We're going back to man. I'm going to go back here. No, wrong guy. Get in there. Huge shot right there. Big shot. By Beverly. Now we're up four. I'm going to call a timeout after this last one. Just make sure everybody's energy is up even better, higher. Ooh. Let's call a timeout. I wish you would tell me how many I have, though. I think I got one left. So we got a minute to go. We're going to run this clock down. 
up four, we can get it down. They would have like 24 seconds left. We're going, man, we're going to do a pick and roll. Maybe we can get this to work. We're going to get it down about 10 seconds and try it. Go here. Nope, he's not really open. Ah, bad shot. It's not a good play. He's just struggling this half. Big nether and call time. Yes. 16 rebounds for Williams. He's done good with that today, at least. That's their third. So I just need to get open here if I can. Bail me there. I think we're going to come out with a victory here. we got to make our free throws, though. Let's have... Yeah, foul Beverly. I'd rather him... I'm assuming he's got a better free throw. We can look at... Uh, where's it at? Coach substitutions. Who's our better free throw shooter? 86 for Beverly. Yeah, we definitely want Beverly to go to the line. Over here. I could have went to the hole and probably could have got a shot off. Let's see. Found me? There we go. Go to him. We want him to be our free throw shooter. Let's see if we can make these. There we go. Nice shot. Get in there. Atta boy. Big play. We're up six. Play time on him. Big shot by... Yeah. That's it right there. A couple more free throws and we should be done. Missed it. That one. It looked bad, but no, he got it in. Short arm, but okay. Good win. We ended up winning 62 to 55. That's good. I'm happy with that one. I mean, finally, we got something going a little bit. We went up against a lesser team that helps. They're still more talented than us, but I thought we played well. I thought our strategy was well. I mean, I think I like the direction we went today. Let's put it that way. And I, I feel no reason to have to change much in terms of, like, full-blown the opposite way. But it looks like uh, Beverly... Okay, let's watch this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got the volume down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully this doesn't. We are back from our James Madison game, and as you just witnessed, the game freezes on me right when it tries to come back to the main screen at the end of the game. And it never occurred to me that it could have been the autosave feature. Now, I have to give Isaiah Green 100% credit on this. I recently just put a community post out there saying... I have to cancel the series because I'm tired of playing the same game over and over again and it continues to freeze on me. Well, Isaiah mentioned that you need to turn off the autosave feature. So when you go over to the autosave feature, I had this turned on. And now it makes complete sense why I was having issues. Now, I think because of this, I can go ahead and continue the series. I'm sure this will please many of you out there and it pleases me as well i did not want to quit this thing again i do not like quitting dynasties legacies series in general now what you see in front of you is a completely different score than what you just saw in the game and that's because you just saw me beat james madison i have earned that victory so what i had to go ahead and do was just go ahead and simulate this game quote unquote just so i can get the win so now we're one and three so it looks like in our next video, we're going to take on Youngstown State. They're 2-1. and one. They got 72 overall uh, rating and just a little bit better than us. So I think it's very viable that we can beat them. So come on back. We'll take on Youngstown. I guess we're going to continue the series and have some more fun with it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.